Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Steam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install a standing seam. We will be releasing a new standing seam installation video weekly through the end of 2021. Check out our standing seam installation series playlist. Link in the description or subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on our next video. In this video, we'll show you how to install a bull nose eave trim. Eave trim with a bull nose drip edge is an easier and faster installation compared to a standard eave trim with joggle cleats. There are less parts to install. This type of trim should only be used if the pitch of your roof is 6 inches in 12 inches or less. It's intended for a snap lock clip system panel and not a nail strip or mechanically fastened panel. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. For this installation, these are the parts that are required. In this video, we'll walk you through laying out your trim, installing an optional fascia wrap, installing trim cleat, cutting and finishing eave trim at gable ends, overlapping eave trim, and fastening eave trim. Layout. Prior to installation, it's best to plan the layout of your panels and trim. For example, a standard length of eave trim is 10 feet. If your roof is 32 feet wide, you'll end up with a small two foot piece of trim on one side. A better layout will begin with a six foot piece, then two standard 10 foot pieces, and end with a six foot piece of trim. Symmetry in your layout will always lead to a better overall aesthetic. When planning your layout, don't forget to account for six inches needed at overlaps and one inch needed at gable ends. Installing Optional Fascia Wrap Fascia wrap is an optional trim piece which covers and protects the exposed fascia. It's installed prior to the trim cleat and eave trim. Start by measuring the amount of trim needed at the gable end and add one inch for a tab. Using metal cutting snips, trim the top section at your mark. At the bottom of the trim, mark the distance of trim needed, then cut along the line. One inch from the lower edge, make a 45 degree cut back to your first mark. Cut a small notch at the edge of the trim. This will help the tab fold easier. Using a hand seamer, fold the tab downwards 90 degrees. The tab should fold over towards the gable side of your roof. Fasten the lower section of fascia wrap with screws 12 inches on center. Overlaps of fascia trim should be a minimum of six inches. Two beads of silicone sealant should be placed three inches from the edge of the trim. Installing Trim Cleat The trim cleat plays a vital role in keeping your eave trim in place. It is installed onto the fascia or directly over the optional fascia wrap. Place a section of eave trim in its position and trace the lower edge. Using this line as a guide, begin installing your trim cleat at the outline. Fasten the trim cleat with pancake screws 12 inches on center. Additional sections of trim cleat are simply butted end to end. No overlaps are needed. Preparing eave trim at gable end. Measure the distance of trim needed and add one inch for a tab. 
Mark a 45 degree line at the drip edge of the trim. Using metal cutting snips, begin cutting along your outline. When cutting at the tab, cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. Mark a straight line at the top section of the trim. Continue cutting along your mark. Using a hand seamer, bend the tab downwards 90 degrees. The tab should fall flush along the gable side of your roof. Overlapping. Overlaps of trim should be 6 inches. Start by marking 6 inches onto your trim. Cut up to the 6 inch mark. At the drip edge, begin notching out the hem of the trim up to the 6 inch mark. On the adjacent piece, notch cut the hem up to the 6 inch mark. Two beads of silicone sealant should be placed 3 inches from the edge of the trim. Slide your trim upwards into its position to prevent the silicone from spreading. When installing your eave trim, you should first hook the lower section onto the trim cleat. Trim should be fastened using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Always remove protective plastic during installation. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. If you're installing a standing seam roof, then you will need to learn how to install gable flashing and a ridge cap. Check out these installation videos and more.